Hey, we're live. We are live. I need my notes. I got notes. I got a pillow. Okay. Hello. It is Thursday. We seem to come quicker and quicker every time. I am Debbie from Patchworks in Salem, New York. I just have a couple quick little things before Marie does her demo. Um, this is the Candy Cane Lane pillow from Kimberbell that we showed you last week, but I didn't have the lights in it. Now the lights are in it, so you can see how cute it is. This is one of their cuter ones, I have to say. So we love it, and it's here if you want to come in and see it. Don't pet it, because they will get you'll get caught on the lights. Um, let's see, I have a couple things. We have scheduled January 8th, which is a Saturday, from 10 to 2 as our uh, Show Your Bucket Hats. We will have a... Um, Probably food, snacks, drawings, um, discounts, whatever. But you have to have a bucket hat. So whether you made it in the class here with us or you made them at home, you have to wear a bucket hat. It'll be a lot of fun and we'll get to see everybody's different varieties. And it'll be fun because I will take pictures of everybody. So put your makeup on. We're going to do the bucket hat on January 8th. So save the date. In June, Kimberbell is coming out with a new line of fabric called Cup of Cheer. It's it's absolutely adorable. Of course, they came out with a new quilt, um, a new CD for embroidery, sewing, and as soon as we get more information, we'll show you pictures of it. But I think if you go online to E.E. E. Shank and put in Cup of Cheer, you'll see the fabrics will come up. You'll see, and I, I believe they show you the different patterns and um, embroidery CD works but it is really cute and they they just keep coming out and they're cuter and cuter and cuter oh i forgot the thing i want to do a special thank you to janine babbage because she sent us early um the new three stand embroidery that says music gives voice to the heart and soul um so that we could have it done for you it actually doesn't release until the end of the month which i believe it's either the 30th or 31st so we have it up as a pre-order um, Kimberbell came out with, of course, their November thing, but that's not what I'm showing you. I want to show you because I keep promising everybody a picture. This is the brand of double chocolate vodka. <laughs> if you want to try it, this is the one you buy because we have tried other ones and I've actually had somebody, yes, you, Diane, that brought hers in because she hated it and then I hated it. I don't remember the brand name, what it was, but this is the brand that you definitely want to, and I'm going to take this bottle home because I use it for my rooting my plants. Um, and then they have a much bigger one, which is a much better value. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll pick it up for you and you can pick it up in the store. Um, one other thing I want to give a shout out to, and I forgot to grab one, so I'm going to grab one right now. Um, to Connie D. Oh, I didn't do the tilt it this morning. I put it back. Um, Janine Babbage does, actually, this one does the same thing. The older ones don't do it. The older ones don't do it. So, um, anyway, all right, Connie D showed us this. Janine Babbage does this thing where everything is done in the hoop, so when you're all done, you just turn it right side out and with the flap. It's just like a pillow. When it's all done, it's done because you have the flap to turn it right side out. The newer um, Kimberbell ones do that. The older ones... It sews around the last thing, leaves an opening, you turn it right side out, and then you have to stitch that closed. So our tip from Connie is, because she remembers the new from the old, I don't, is to do the double flap instead of doing the turnaround, which the older ones were like we did the um, Mug Rug 1 with the um, snowman fabric and the spider fabric, and that they did not do it this way. So yes, you can take your new learning and transfer your old problems to new. So I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And I'm going to put this back so it doesn't ruin this display for a minute. But we want to definitely thank Janine Babbage for the early, um, getting this to us early so we could show it to you because I love doing her things and they are so easy. So her directions are perfect. And every single time I've done one, I've never had a problem. The other thing I can tell you is um, I, I never tried this before, and I don't know why. Now I can hang it up, so because I can't see what my distance it. glasses on, <laughs> it's too close. Unless I hold it like this, I can't do it. 
Um, the other thing I would say was I did this out of a fat quarter. So my fronts and my backs on all three things were done with one fat quarter. So I never, um, I never tried that before. Um, I think that's it. I'm good. Don't forget January 8th, the bucket hat. Bring your bucket hat. Hi, everyone. Hello. I think we're having a little bit of freezing problems here, but we're still here, Grace. We're still here. Um, hi. I am Marie. That is Debbie. We're, we're here, here with here, Patchworks. Oh, there's here. my voice. Um, <laughs> uh, we are here at Patchworks in Sable, New York. And um, if you've been with us before, and I think most of you have, thanks for coming back to spend some time with us. And if you're new, I hope you enjoy uh, what we have to show you. Um, it's actually kind of a little bit of everything right now. We have some new stuff, uh, some uh, repeats from last year that we just thought were worth showing again for the holidays. And we have a lot of new people. We do, yeah. So a lot of you may not have seen it. Um, I'm also going to just show a really quick demo um, on an old pattern made new again. And also a real quick one on that, uh, how to hide a zipper in a, in a pillow back. Um, so I'm um, just going to go over that real quick. Uh, but before I start, just in case you don't know, we are not a comment sold store. We post a link on the post page right below this video to a Google document that when you click on that blue link, you go to this form. Uh, this one says new baby fabric, easy pillows, machine embroidery projects. Uh, what this form is, is going to have everything that um, I'm going to show you today, and you can select what you would like from there. At the top of the form, we ask you for your name, your contact information, whether you would like to pick it up in the store or if we're going to mail it to you. We do not ask for payment information right now at this time. When you come in to pick it up, you can pay, or if we're delivering it. Uh, when we call you to get your shipping information, we'll get your payment information then. Um, we, if you, if we have a flat rate $9 shipping charge. If um, it's over $100, we pick up the shipping. So you go through this whole form. At the bottom of the form is a little green button that says submit. When you're all done, you push that button. We get the... Uh, your order. So that is how we do it. Not common sold, Google Doc, links right below the video on the home page. And what is our, um, also, if anyone has any questions for us, our website is patchworks.com. You can always email us at comments at patchworks.com if you have any questions. There's also a spot on the order form where if you have any comments or questions, you can put them there. So that is, um, that's all the housekeeping, I think. If you have any questions to Deb's man in the computer, you can type it into her and she can answer or give a shout out. We'll try to figure out whatever it is. So let's get started. Um, we have to start some new machine embroidery projects, but quilters don't leave because we have sewing things too. And the first thing we want to show you is from OESD, we got in one of their new wall, tile scene wall hangings. It's called Peace on Earth Tiling Scene by Shannon Roberts. Uh, it's the embroidery CD is $39.99. It is multi-formatted and it's more, it's a less intense stitching than the Happy Snowman that we showed a couple of weeks ago that is just absolutely gorgeous and everyone loves. This is more along the lines of a, a chalkboard version. It's really, really nice. So we got in the CD, it's $39.99, and yes, we got a thread kit for it. The thread kit is $64.99, has all the threads that you need, the isocord threads that are listed in the um, thread chart for this very pretty and we did do it up we did not get an opportunity to put it on our frames yet but we'll probably do that tomorrow but here it is not quite ready for prime time but i just wanted to show everyone it is absolutely gorgeous let me see if you guys can get a good close-up on this i know it takes a while it's just so pretty we did it on 
just solid black, right? It's not on the, or is this shadow play? Again? Shadow play. Oh, shadow play. Okay. This is on one of the Maywood shadow plays. And if you can see how beautiful it is, let me, I don't know if I'm too close. <laughs> I don't want it to look like I'm going to smack you in the face. But this is absolutely beautiful. The stitching is gorgeous on it. And it really takes much less, smaller amount of time than the Happy Snowman. So we're going to have this up on the, uh, we're going to do it on the stretcher bars. And we'll have it up in the store. This, this is beautiful. So that is the Peace on Earth. Very, very pretty. Then we also have... Uh, this you guys saw um, last year. This is a Janine Babbage. Let me see that. Oh, how come these things, they, they don't want to cooperate sometimes. There we go. Okay. So, this is from Janine Babbage. It's called Oh Holy Night. It's a wall hanging that we first showed last year. And... The embroidery CD, multi-formatted embroidery CD, is $20. It fits a, uh, what's the hoop? Do you remember? That? Is it a 6 by 10 or no, something like that? I think I that? need a 5 by 7 5x7? Okay. It's really pretty. We are offering kits. So the embroidery CD is $20. And it just has gorgeous stitching in here. It has this beautiful background stitching behind everything. The, the letters are applique, gorgeous outlining. Just her, her designs are absolutely beautiful. Um, the CD is 20. I said that already. The kits, we have kits available for the blue and silver. The fabrics won't be exactly the same because this is last year's, but it will be, you won't have any complaints. Um, it is, the kits are $26.00. And they will include the fabrics for the top, the back, the binding, and the applique. Does not, does not include the embroidery CD. That is separate. And also we have a kit for this in the more traditional red and green. This kind of gives you, this is the red and green version kit. And as you can see, like this one has, we put the little, you know, you can... We put the little point on the bottom of this, which is what her pattern calls for. On this one, we just did a uh, flat bottom. You, yeah, do whatever you like. Lorraine's having trouble, too. Right. We're freezing, huh? I wonder what's going on. It's, I'm not freezing, so it's it, maybe their internet is wigging out. Okay. All right, because Grace had some trouble. Um, here, this might give you a better idea. You could see some of this gorgeous background quilting a little bit more clearly. And her, her digitizing is just, just really, really nice. So we have this available. Kits are $26, front, back, binding, and all the applique fabric. And the CD is $20. So that, that's the Oh Holy Night one. Just lovely. And then we also have, I got to check my notes. Uh, oh, the plush stocking. Okay, we had this last year too. This is, um, this stocking, it's really, it's nice and big, so kids will love it. Uh, this is made to go on your embroidery machine. You, this opens up, it unzips, and then this lets you put it on your embroidery machine, whichever side you want to do it, to do the embroidery. But you do need, because this is plush, so you definitely want to have a topper on it. This is OESD, OESD's Heat to Go topper. It's 12 inches by 10 yards. You put it on top so that it gives a platform for the stitches to form. And then what you do, you tear away as much as you can, and then you heat it, and it just, just crinkles up and goes away. It's very, very cool stuff. So this big plush stocking is $16.00. For you machine embroiderers, this uh, topper uh, is twelve dollars, and you know you just you could do whatever you like in here. You got a pretty decent sized cuff on here to work with, so that is another one for our machine embroiderers. Okay. Uh, also, we have from Amelie Scott Designs. 
again, now you guys might have, these, these are the ones that started the, uh, the hidden zipper, hidden zipper situation going on here. This is a Mailey Scott design. Christine Connors is the person who does all these. What you get for this, it's $25. It's an embroidery download. It doesn't have, it doesn't have a CD in here. What it has are instructions to go to her website, you register, and then you have a special uh, code in here that lets you download your designs to your uh, computer and then put them on the sewing machine. So these... What is the topper called? The topper is Heat to Go, the number two, Heat to Go. This is it, from OESD, Heat to Go. Um... So we, we did these last year. They're really cute, adorable 18-inch pillows. And we're bringing them out again because, you know, what the heck. Now, we're going, we're going to offer kits in this. What we don't have is this fabric, right? This, this one was discontinued. We have a lighter one. We have a lighter one that we're going to substitute in here for this. But this is one of the appliques. It's really cute. Um, pretty much fits in a... The five by, no, this doesn't. This does. You need a little bigger uh, hoop for this one. So it has the, uh, the Believe. Just very cute. Still have, some of them are still having a freezing problem. It has a smaller one. This little guy fits in the five by seven hoop. And the, the directions have all the piecing instructions in it and everything. Okay, and this also, I'll, I'm going to show you guys this briefly. Okay. And it also has the Santa is coming to town one. Right. So we have a kit. The kit for all three pillows, front, back, binding, applique fabrics, and the zippers is $65, I want to say. I wrote it down, but now I can't find it. So what else is new? Um, $65. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Um, the, on her, on her website, if you go to Amelie Scott Designs, she has uh, videos there that show you how to do this. Also, if you go to our YouTube page, um, where we post our, um, past lives and everything, we, we have a video put up where um, I demonstrated how to do the zipper. Anybody that's having trouble seeing or if it's freezing, get out of the patchworks and then come back in and try it again. For some reason, some of you are buffering. We're not having any problems, and I'm, I'm watching the whole thing on my iPad. So Yeah. But try shutting, you know, like closing it off and then coming back onto it again. You have to stop looking at it that while you're talking, though, because okay. it shows up on the video. This is, if you go on our oh, homepage. Gail page, said the same thing. Thank you, Gail. What's that? <laughs> you saved my breath. She said the same thing. If you go to our homepage and you click on the YouTube video, you'll go to our YouTube page. See, now page. I'm buffering. You go to our YouTube page and so you'll weird. see all our videos and everything. Okay. It's so strange. Go away, Palmer. Oh, what else? Okay. Yeah. Go to the, just shut it down, refresh your thing, and I it comes back. I don't know why. It's, it's uh... not us. It's not us. Okay. Like going well, we had some trouble getting on Facebook before, They're so I wonder if Facebook weird. is having problems. See, now Connie's not having any trouble. Aunt Judy's not having any trouble. Okay, it's, good, good. It's just a weird thing, and I wasn't having any trouble until you people brought it up. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what am I up to? Okay. So that is the, you know what, let me show you this real fast, how to do these, um, these zippers. They're, it's pretty fast and easy. <laughs> I say that now, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, with the freezing, it could take four hours, so have a seat, get a drink. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm just going to set this up here, like this, I got... Oh, see, they rejoined and it worked. They rejoined and yeah. it worked? Okay, I feel like Good, I'm so glad. Like, is this close enough for everyone to be able to see it? I, oh no, it's going away. No, again? I just hit and it went to Alice and it went to her homepage. Okay, okay. All right. They rejoined and it worked. All right. Yeah. Now I hear okay. us. Okay, I know because you know what? Every time I I do a comment now, it turns the sound back on. Okay. All right. So what you do with this, and if you go to her, as I said, if you go to her page or our old video, you'll see. Um, 
more specific instructions. But for your backing fabric, what you're going to do is cut two pieces of the backing fabric. I think the ratio is about, if you take the whole size of the backing, you cut a two-thirds and one-third piece. So you have a top piece, and then you also have a bottom piece. All right, just ignore the zipper that's on here. A bottom piece like this. You'll also need to cut the flat piece, the piece that's actually going to cover the zipper, and that piece is cut two and a half inches wide, folded in half, and ironed in half with the wrong sides together. Then, always working with a longer zipper than what you usually, what it, the size is that you're doing, and because you're going to use, here we go, like, this is a toy, I have these on the order form. These are 22 inch zippers. Actually, the black one is a little longer because sometimes you never know what we get in. So they are $2 each, all right? And they have plastic teeth. It's important that the teeth are plastic because you're going to be stitching over them and you really don't want to be stitching over metal teeth. So you're going to take a zipper. See, now Grace didn't get on again. She can't get on. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Facebook might be doing something because... Yeah. It's like hit and miss is with it, everybody. Is it coming through on our end okay? We're fine. Okay. And, and half the people are fine and the other half aren't. Okay. I don't know what it is. So what you're going to do is, once you have your bottom piece and you have your big zipper, you're going to take the zipper piece, all right? And you're going to lay it with the right side down on your bottom piece. And you're going to stitch it in place. I just use, I didn't even use a zipper foot. I just used my quarter inch foot. I ran it along the edge of this and stitched right across there down to the end. Then you can flip it over this way and you have a piece like this. If you want, you can edge stitch right along the edge of this here too to hold it down. So that's, that's the first step. Then the next step stay, is to attach this piece to this piece. So, let me find it. Okay. So the next, actually the next step is to attach the two and a half inch piece to the top of your zipper. So if you look here, I then took that two and a half inch piece and stitched it right down on top. Let me get this out of the way. You know, it's funny, they can't see the picture, but yet their comments are coming through. Yeah. Facebook I, is really there a mess. Did anybody know that um, Facebook is going to change their name? Do we think we could come up with a few suggestions for what we should call Facebook? Yeah. I'm being very sarcastic because right is, now this is very frustrating. This has to be a family show. Okay. So you're going to stitch that down right on top of the zipper like that. Then once you do that, Okay, I know you're not supposed to put pins in your mouth. But then you take... Don't sneeze because then they go like darts. <laughs> <laughs> you take your top piece and you pin it down on top of that. And you're going to stitch again, going right across the top. Now, you could simply layer your, coat, your little flap and this piece at the same time and stitch it. It's up to you. Uh, sometimes... Uh, Folks might use that double-sided tape to hold it down in place. You can pin it. You can use the Wonder Clips, whatever works. But once you do, when you do this, you, I just use my quarter-inch foot, wrote it along the edge, and just stitched it down. So that when it was all done, you had this, like this. Okay, here it is. Here's my whole piece. Now... What you have to do then, and this is really important, is you make sure that your zipper pull is on the inside here. You're going to stitch this down on the edge just to hold that flap in place and do it also on this edge and right here. You're going to stitch that down just to hold it in place. The other thing that you have to do with this more than likely is once you do it, you need to trim it to the proper size that you need because it usually comes out a little bigger. So just be sure when you trim it that your zipper pull is not hanging out here. Because <laughs> We've that done that just, many you know, times. Oh yeah, yeah. We've made every mistake that we're telling you not to do. So that is 
that's how you do this thing. Okay, let me get this out of the way. All right. So that it's it's really I, I went through it really really fast. But if you look on our YouTube page or if you go to Amelie Scott Designs uh, page, you'll see uh, uh, videos that show you how to do it a little bit more detail than what I showed you. Okay. Yeah, we did talk about now, Debbie mentioned that we got Janine Babbage's new Music Gives Voice to the Heart and Soul. Okay, so this is a close-up of it. And it's a pre-order on the form, order form. It is $16. It's one of her really nice, one of her tabletop displays. I also have the tri-stand on there. It's like $24.63 or something like that. They're a little bit out of stock, but we, we expect them in. They're pretty good with getting those in. So this is the music gives a uh, voice to the heart and soul. Okay, let's see. No questions, right? Mm -mm. Good, okay. All right. Um, also, we have, okay, let's see. Kimberbell, yes, Kimberbell. She already showed you this. This is a pre-order. November, fill in this the blanks. This is one of the nicer ones, I have to say. I love that navy. That this really is really nice. Navy. It's a it's a blank. It's a navy velvet. And, and it only carries double chocolate vodka. only carries double you chocolate vodka. You cannot put anything else right, in it. Right. <laughs> yes. The brand of this vodka, by the way, is called 360 Vodka. So go and demand that your local liquor store carry it. Um, this is this is the uh, machine version, the embroidery version. It also, of course, when you buy the Kimberbell fill in the blank, it is twelve ninety five. You get instructions for machine and sewing version. Um, this is really really a nice one. This I can see. This yeah, is great this for is the really, holidays. It really is a nice one. I mean, it says cheers like for New Year's Eve, but you can do cheers for. Any time of the year. Anytime. You do it for a birthday. birthday yeah. You do it, you it's know, really any cute. time of the year. This is really, really nice. So this is available November 1st. Well, they correct? can pick up the thing and then we email it. Right. You can pick this on. up. You can order it, pick it up, and then we will email you the link to the um, to the directions and the file downloads. If you don't like oh, having to deal. Oh, too. That's good. Boy, that's the best one. That's a good one. I think I need to use that's that. That's a good one. <laughs> Um, if you just just let you guys know, if you prefer not to have to deal with email downloads or anything like that, when you come in to pick it up, bring in a USB stick with you, and we'll put it right on the USB stick. I mean, we we could do that really quickly, so you know you don't you don't have to deal with the um, email stuff. So this is this is really cute. Well, it does say cheers to the new year, but you could just leave that off, right? Cheers to the new year. Yeah, just just, just take, leave it off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's the Kimberbell. And I noticed that there were a lot of people online looking for the Jingle All the Way embellishment kits. And because they reissued this, we have the Jingle and Whisk fabric in stock. I know I, I told you guys last, last time, I didn't realize how hot it was. <laughs> I know it's amazing if you go on um, Kimberbell's Facebook page for um, consumers, it's on there a million times. People are looking for it. Yep. This is the this is the book with the machine embroidery version. It has the CD in it. It has the directions for the quilt, lots of other little projects. We can also get a sewing version of this, which I think is, um, I did write it down. I want to say 24. 24, 23, 24, something like that. It's on, it's on the order form. So if you're not a machine embroiderer, but you love this quilt, you can get the sewing version. Both versions require the embellishment kit, which is $19.99. We have the embellishment kit, and I'm not sure how much longer it's going to be available. So it has like the little I don't know, vinyls and ribbons and sequins and all sorts of the little doodads that I make it so cute. Some of, things in there. some of them are really cute. Yeah, yeah. So that is the uh, jingle all the way and the embellishment kit. And in the store, on our website, you can see on our fabric page, you can see the jingle and whisk fabric. If you, when you go on our website, if you click on uh, the button at the top that says fabric, you'll go to our fabric page. Then you'll see a little picture that says jingle and whisk. You can click on that and you can order. You can see the jingle and whisk fabric. You can order it from there too. All right, so that is available. All right. Also. 
we have, let's see, that's a jingle and whisk. And I showed you the Kimberbell, and I showed you this, because these are adorable. Um, we have, oh, we have a new reading pillow with this baby fabric. I'm going to show you that. This is to the moon and back from Michael Miller Fabrics. And we put together a new reading pillow so cute. that says, love you to the moon and back. It's really, it's just sweet. Totally gender neutral. The kit for the reading pillow. It comes with the instructions, comes with the fabric for the pillow, the pockets, the binding. It's $28. It includes the embroidery. Does this show up? Mm -hmm. The embroidery? Okay. Um, that is new. It is on the order form. If you want to see any of our other reading pillows, again, if you go on our website, click on the button that says kits, and then you go to our kit page, you can click on this picture, you can see all of our reading pillows, and there's a link to an order form on there. If you're interested in one of our quick and easy pillowcases, you can click on that picture. You go to a page, and you'll see all our pillowcases with an order form there. But this is absolutely adorable. This is so sweet. It really is. This fabric, I'm not, I mean, there's like 23 skews in it. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it's it, enormous. It's enormous. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to make you sit through 23 of these, and I know that you wouldn't, but just to give you an idea, it's all kind of celestial, um, to the moon and back, and it is gray, cream, uh, a buttery gold kind of color. This really is one cute. of, this is one of the fabrics. It has stars, it has dots, it has shooting stars, plaids. Uh, it has little clouds, moons. Look at this one. This one here says little, little superstar. Too cute. Okay. And there, right there. Love you to the moon and back. Actually, that would be a nice thing for Janine to do on the thing. What's that? On the threesome. Love you to the moon and back. Love you to the moon and back. Janine. Janine. <laughs> <laughs> are your ears, are your ears ringing? We talk about you all the time. Always good. Always good. This is this is like one of the multi one of the little it's it's just it's so just cute. cute. It it's really just is so cute. cute. I love the little fat moons. Yeah, the little fat chubby moons. I know the little moons, and it has really cute little names like you know, uh, Happy Moon and you know Twinkle and things it's like that. Cute. It's cute. Yeah. And these are these are twelve fifty a yard, and on the order form is a link to the order form for this entire collection. And again, if you go on our fabric page, you'll see another link to it. What are you laughing at? Uh, I think we should record some of this so we don't have to keep saying it. <laughs> There's also a panel. I gotta see something. Now this panel, this is the panel. It's very it is, modern, I guess. It's I very it's modern. Say. It's definitely, I mean, it gives you lots of space to do your quilting in. Or to add an apple. What about applicating the baby's name on the top and maybe their birthday on the bottom or something like that? That it's would be really cute. To make yeah. It and, mm. Do do they see this? Yep. It's really cute. The panel is, is like eight ninety nine or 99. something like that, right? It's two thirds of a yard, so yeah, it's a regular panel size. Very very cute. So that that's all of the baby fabric. Then, let's see, get that on there. Um, we have a couple of uh, table runners. Now, these we did last year. We love them. We brought them back again. This is a Buffalo Lodge. Who's the, oh, Krista Moser. Krista Moser. Buffalo Lodge. She's Very the cute. one that does tons of cute, cute stuff with the... Um, the 60 degree mini diamond ruler from Creative Grids. One of my favorites. So to do these, you have to have this, but it's really not hard to do. You know, Creative Grid and, and her directions are really, really well done. The pattern's ten dollars. This is twenty one forty nine, I believe. Um, these are we are offering kits. This is one of the placemats. Okay, so we're offering a kit. The kit is for the table runner. And you get two placemats out of it for, yeah, I just went totally out of order here. Oh, okay. So $29 for a table runner and two placemats includes the front, back, and binding. This is the red and green version. And 
Debbie was a little bit more inspired with the black and gray. So because it's not traditional. <laughs> right. I, I'm not a traditional. This is the black and gray version, and this is a table runner. It's not a humongous out of control table runner. It's it's very nice. And you know what's nice about it? If you do it in this, this isn't Christmas. This is winter. So this is really something. Can they see the whole thing? Mm -hmm. This is really something that that uh, you can uh, leave up all winter long. This was a lot of fun to do, but I love that ruler so. Yeah. It's very cool. This looks like a fabric. This is all using the ruler yeah. to get this. It's really nice. And we have, this is the... Uh, Kimberbell. Kimberbell. Yes. Jingle all the way. Or Jingle, one whisk, one, something one like that. Those. We have these fabrics to do this. So this is uh, now available. So the pattern is 10. The kits are 29, and they're for one table runner and two placemats, uh, front back binding, and the mini diamond ruler is 2149. It's amazing how um, plastic things have gone sky high. Yeah, yeah. And then we have this other one. All right, you gnome people. Okay. Twister gnomes, okay? So it combines the twister ruler with the gnome craze. I love the gnomes. Yes. And we did it in the grays with the red. So this... Another non-traditional. Another non-traditional. <laughs> you know, you could leave this up. I mean, the hats weren't, they're kind of Santa gnomes here, but you could always do them. Something else. This is the pattern, twister gnomes pattern. It's 20, uh, I'm sorry, $10 for the pattern. And the little twister ruler, I, I know a ton of people have this ruler, right? This thing's been around forever. Yeah, they're fun. The twister thing. Look at the, the copyright on the ruler is 2009, guys. So odds wow. are, if you look in your ruler drawer and dig down, you have this ruler. But right now, you can buy it for $11. So the pattern, the ruler, and we have a kit for this for the front, back, and the applique. And let me see if I can find where I wrote down how much it is. I think it's $25. You know, I just totally went out of order. I try to be organized, but it just goes out the window. Okay, $25. The kit for this is $25. So that is the little twi the twister nose. All right, then, you know that we've done June Taylor stuff. We've done her... Lunch boxes. Yes, oh, right. we've no, done her hanging her. towel kit, which is, it comes with the little pattern that's actually printed on the fleece. You use a little tiny bit of fabric, and it towel. has the towel in there. This is ten fifty, right? Another quick little thing scraps. to do. Scraps, you could do that scraps. Do this Seriously. out of scraps. And if you're an embroiderer, you can embroider on this, so... This is uh, the hanging towel kit, and then as always, these everyone loves these guys. The lunchbox insulated lunchbox sewing kit. Okay, it makes a little lunchbox or makeup bag or little tchotchke bag or whatever you want to do. It uses the zippity do class done. Bag if you go to a class, class you put all your right. crap in there. Right. It uses a zippity do done zipper in there, so it's really it's zipper with no tears. The pattern is printed directly on the Inselbright. They do it on Inselbright in case you want to do it as a, as a lunchbox. Uh, it even comes with a little plastic insert for the bottom here. It comes with the webbing for the handles, $24.99. Uh, if you do want to order one of these, you have your choice of colors for the zipper. Red, blue, navy, gray, camel, white. Um, I think that's it. So I'm just asking on the order form, if you just write down underneath, there's a space to write what color zipper you would like. This is the red. I didn't say gray. This is the red. That's the white. It's nice. Then we also have, um, we made up her tote triple play sewing kit. Right now this. We love this. Yeah. This has in it three items. All right. It is, yeah, where's the price? I have to find the price. Oh, okay. $14.99 for this. And what you do is you get, it's another thing where the pattern's actually printed directly on the stabilizer in here. 
and it's for this little carry-all bag, a wine tote, and then another uh, slightly bigger, they call it a tablet tote. So a crossbody, a wine tote, and um, a tablet tote here, and I'll show you those. It really is, this is actually something, if you have a new sewer or a young sewer, I'm not so sure about the wine tote, but that would be for you after helping someone. they can someone. put a water bottle in it. They can put a water bottle in it. Or you could just put wine in it after you, you help them sew this. Chocolate vodka in it. <laughs> um, it even comes with a glue stick to help you put the, keep the stuff together. I didn't need it. I just pinned. Wasn't a problem. This is what you, what you get at. This is the little crossbody bed. And I made it out of that uh, Tim Holtz fabric because I really love that fabric and I just had to do it. Um, this is That's the cross, crossbody bed. Okay. Really simple. Um, the buttons are optional. I have a little snap underneath because I wasn't going to do a buttonhole on this. I could have, but I did. Uh, so I just put the button on top. Very simple. Really, really simple. This is like perfect for someone who's just learning how to Teaching, sew. Yeah. It's basically straight line sewing. So you get the crossbody. This is the tablet tote. Now this tablet tote, you do a big button loop here. Uh, so I just put a big stone button that I had there. All right. It's lined on the inside. Will a tablet fit in this? I don't know about it. It's called a tablet tote, but... Well, you know what? The, now I'm buffering. Now you're buffering. Um, okay. They make little... They make tablets smaller. It just... I mean, I, I okay. buy the huge ones. Yeah. I guess that's and me, this, this is that Tim Holtz fabric. I just love it. I don't know if I have that on the website. Yeah. I don't think I do. What? The Tim Holtz fabric. Oh, we'll have to put that up. Have to put it's that up. Nice. It's gorgeous. So this this is the tablet. This is that Tim Holtz fabric. I don't know. How come the voices come back when you get back? Every on? time I buff, it goes back to oh, their settings. It's their settings which their makes me settings. crazy. I don't know what's going on. This is the wine tote, and I just stuck a bottle of rosé in here. I don't drink rosé, so this has been laying around my house for I don't know how long now. Um, fits very nicely in here. Okay, it's it's really, it's it's a fun little thing. And for anyone who, you know, they're just starting out or they, they need, you know. Well, I didn't know you had that in there. I've been drinking all day. Yeah, <laughs> I told her this was in here. I would have been drinking all day. <laughs> um, this it, It's simple to do. You are basically sewing on the lines, cutting on the lines. It tells you exactly how to turn it right side out. What I would recommend with this is... Um, for just to help you turn things out is the expert point and press tool. If you don't have one now, seriously, you want one of these. These are $16. These are fantastic. And um, also for finger pressing, this is the, uh, the By Annie um, stiletto. There's the stiletto point here. And then on the bottom, it's, it's flattened a little. So that like for finger pressing, to help you press seams open, you can do that. The one thing about this that I would just caution on is, and they tell you in the pattern, is you, you only go up to a wool setting on your iron with this, and you do not iron directly on the stabilizer. So you're always only going to be ironing wherever there's fabric between the iron and the stabilizer. So, you know, that that's that's the only caveat with this, the thing, the thing that you have to watch. But this is fun. This was nice to do. And it lets you play with all these gorgeous fabrics. So then, let's see. I think I did, I think I did. Okay, so this is, how many of you remember our folded fabric pillows? This is one of our 350 patterns, folded fabric pillows. It is fast, easy. It is a great way to change up your decor. Um, it's like one of those things that when you sit, need to, you know, you want to sit down and create something, you can do this in a day, not even. Um, so this pattern is only three fifty. It's on the order form. We were debating back and forth about doing kits for it, but it's like you need two, uh, two fabrics, a yard of each. You need a half a yard of muslin. You need a half a yard of fleece. And again, we did the Tim Holtz fabric. <laughs> again, we did the Tim Holtz fabric. So this is one of them. Is this gorgeous? Yeah, it really What is. do people think? Yeah. Are there any? This is this is the Tim Holtz fabric again. So what you get with this are two opposites. Or not. You could do them both the same. 
because you have that that you have enough fabric, fabric for yeah yeah and it really is it's a flip and sew method to make this you also can do now these are envelope backs but you could do these um zipper. but the uh the zipper back if you wanted to you just adjust the size of the backing and and you get one of those big 22 inch zippers and it's not a problem but this is another really kind of it's fun it's and you can bind fast. instead of turning right side out right so this is just just to show you how simple it is let's let's see if i can make this work again put this up you like this this is my daughter's tabletop paint easel i asked her if i could borrow it Kindly let me have it as long as I promise not to break it. I'm not, not so sure that's going to happen. Um, so when you do this, it's so simple. You get a yard of fabric, a yard of two fabrics. You're going to rip them right down the middle so that you have two pieces that are the 36 inches by whatever the width is, half of the width of the original fabric is. Then what you do is you draw a cross on the you draw a di two diagonal lines on the fleece you layer it with muslin and i highly recommend that you spray base this down the five the five of light spray uh that's also on the order form it's just a really good idea you cut a couple of squares of your one fabric fabric a uh you fold most of them in half and make little triangles out of them i have no idea where they went one of them you leave as a square, you center it in here, and then what you're going to do is just simply start stitching and flipping. So you're going to sew, you're going to put right side down, flip over, right side down, flip over, like that, and then you do your top to get started like that. Debbie's yawning over there, she's going to put me to sleep. I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, so you're going to start like that. Then what you do is you take the squares that you, I don't know what I do with them. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, put them somewhere. What, what you do is, the, of all those squares that you cut, except for the one that goes in the middle, you're going to fold in half and iron so that you have these little triangles. And what you do with those is, you place them on the corner and then you just add on the four corners and then you add strips to hold them down. So you're going to do it on the side and then you're going to do it on the top. And again, it's just a flip and sew like that. And you just keep on going until you finish the whole thing. And Don't the pattern has all the um it's pretty out of the red directions. Yeah, this is that uh white linen and scarlet. Yeah, it's really thread. pretty out of that. You keep on going until you finish. You know, and you finish with a strip on the outside. Uh the one thing I would say is like everyone's is gonna be a little different on the size depending on our seam allowance and everything, which is fine. You just work with what you get. It's not a problem. And then what you do out of the uh leftover fabric that you did this out of because you'll have a lot more of this left than of this is you cut two pieces this is to make an envelope back you cut two pieces you do the double fold one inch hem on them and these are going to be bigger than this so you have to figure out you're going to put them like this this isn't going to stay is it yeah there we go you put them like this and you can pin them in place and then turn around do you trim yours first and then sew or? I don't, I don't trim my backing until I sew it. Then I okay. trim it. Just like my okay. binding, I don't trim all my extra until I put my, sew my binding on. So you turn it around and you're going to sew around the entire outside and then trim it. Turn it right side out. You got your pillow done. However, if you were so inclined, you do have enough fabric left from this to do a binding yeah. if you want. Or, as I said, you could do the zipper closure. Um, it's really your choice. You can make it as complicated or easy as you want. But this is just one of those really nice, fun, fast projects. Two fabrics, half a yard of fleece, half a yard of muslin, 
and and you could just sit there you can make two of these things you could do them for the holidays you could just do them change up your decor it, it's it's fun it's fast so that is our folded fabric pillow i don't know if you could do a quilt out of it you could probably do blocks lisa and then put them together but not a whole i don't think you could do a whole quilt uh you know what you would have to do the quilt if you use like a um you know a nice backing and then you did that thing where you you would have to cover the seams you know what i mean like on the hoop yeah i think i would make like blocks that. you could do like okay here we go you could do two six inch blocks on a 12 and put the two sixes next to the 12 and do it like that or like do various sizes and connect them with something like uh sashing or just sew them together yes that would be cute yes. but to do one big quilt i think would be a pain in the ass can you hear me <laughs> But this is, this is, so this is a folded fabric pillow. Um, we have the pattern. We, as I said, we debated about kits because we were just like, you know, there's so many choices to make on this. But I tell you what, you guys, if you can come in the store, we'd be glad to help you pick things out. Or you can look at our fabrics on our fabric page. You could pick out two fabrics that you like to go together. Let us know and we'll put together the fabrics and then you just need a half yard muslin half yard fleece and you're good to go on it so this is on the order form okay let's see does anyone have any questions no. i think we're good because that was it today we're good pretty sure i went through everything okay it was a quick one class is going to be let out early today thanks you guys for coming not for really good behavior <laughs> Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for spending time. Again, if you have any questions, send us an email, comments at patchworks.com. Or call. Or call. We love to chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can always... <laughs> okay, Tina, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the order form, did you put a link to the order form in the comments? Yeah, no homework. No, I didn't. You didn't. Okay, the order form is on the post page. Right below this video, it's a little, you know, a hyperlink, a blue link, and you'll go to this. You can fill it out, or you can just come in tomorrow and browse. This is pretty much going to look like this tomorrow. All right. Thanks, everyone, so much. Have a great day. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Tina's so funny. <laughs>